Hey there, it's Dr. Kim, founder of the American Institute of Mind Body Medicine, and I have something to share with you from a group call that we just did for the Be the Medicine program. And something that came up around the inner alignment, the alignment that we are in physically, mentally, emotionally, energetically, and how that creates our life, how that creates everything that we are experiencing and how important it is that we don't often think how much the inner creates the outer and we're focusing on doing, 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 I've got to do all these things and I don't have time for the inner. I'll get to that later once I line up all these things on the outer. And we think that that's how it works, that I can manipulate the world to be how I need it to be and then I'll have time to tend to what I need. And it is the exact opposite that is the truth of our nature. It's the inner alignment that creates and affects everything in our outer world, starting with our physical body, which is part of the outer three-dimensional world. And we still tend to put so little emphasis or energy into this. So I wanted to share in this video with you how to come into that inner alignment um, and why it's so important. So the inner alignment we can think of, I'm, I have studied yoga for many, many years, and I was listening this morning to Matt Sanford. Matt is an amazing yogi who teaches actually some of the, the leading yogi people in the world um, how to really embody this inner alignment in their yoga, which he is aware of is not just physical. So, you know, if you're doing yoga and you, you stand up and you, 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 you want to get into a posture to align your pelvis with your chest in your shoulders and you're aligned right over your feet, your ankles. I'm going to do the seated since I'm making a video here. But if I come into that alignment and kind of like lift the head, align, align, elongate the neck, bring the shoulders back and slightly toward each other and down, opening the chest and just breathe this way. It creates a different physical experience, but it also creates a different chemical physiologic experience. You're body's going to work differently. Your organs are going to come into more harmony. Your breathing is going to change very, um, very directly. So just allow that to happen. That's your physical alignment. But he was also speaking about um, your energetic alignment. And this is why I shared this in, in our group call today and uh, what inspired me to make this video. Where our alignment gets off um, energetically, like mentally, emotionally, we can be, there's four different spaces. We can get off kilter. So we're outside of ourselves. We're focusing on all these things we need to do. I've got to do this. I've got to do that. And then we lose that connection with center, which is our guidance, which is the source of energy and ideas and inspiration and knowing that creates everything, gives us the, the energy we need so we can boom, oh, yeah, I'm going to do this thing. And it has an amazing impact or we're in the right place at the right time and it's this like synchronous um, experience. We're like, oh, it made everything so much easier. So we could have taken a hundred steps to do it when we're out of alignment, make this thing happen. But, oh my gosh, I just synchronistically met up with this one person in this one time and got that job I needed or found out about this thing that I was looking for and things can just happen. So the first place where we get off kilter and we lose our alignment is we're focusing um, in future. This is a, one of the most common places. It's like, I got to do this thing. I got to make sure this happens. I got to make sure this doesn't happen. And we're living in a reality that doesn't exist. We're actually a lot of times creating an unwanted reality of, oh, I got to make sure this doesn't happen. So let me do these 10 things. And we're living outside of ourselves. We're not connected with that inner wisdom. And then the other place, of course, is the past we're focused or we have a lot of energy in what has happened before and I know it's going to happen again or this thing this person did to me so I have to be in protection um, or I regret this thing and I'm never going to forgive myself or I'm never going to forgive so-and-so because they hurt me and I'm still carrying that pain. So we have energy in past or future. So just like let all of that go by feeling into your physical body. Your body can only live in the present and it will immediately anchor you in the now, which is another way of releasing those anchors in future and in past. So you just take a deep breath and you can establish that physical alignment I mentioned at the beginning of this video to assist you in coming back into your center. And then the other place that we lose our alignment and we get off kilter is focusing on other people, 
What do they think of me? What do they want from me? What do they expect of me? What are they going to do if I do this? Oh, I definitely can't do that because then they'll do this. And I put my energy into this idea of what I think other people need me to be, what other people have told me to be. And now I can't really let them know who I am because they'll, I'll be embarrassed or they'll judge me or they'll reject me. And so, so much of our energy goes into that space where we lose our inner alignment, we lose our connection with the essence of who we are, with the source of all that is health, wealth, joy, because we're focusing on this thing outside of us with other people. And then the last place we lose our alignment is in identity. Who I think I am, or I have to be this way because I'm a doctor and so I need to say it this way, I can't say that. I've had people say all kinds of things to me like, well, you're a doctor so you shouldn't talk about God. And it's like, really? Those are identities. Or I'm 40, how old am I? 43, 44 years old. So that means blah, 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 blah. And people say that one all the time. Well, you're not as young as you used to be, so... And they make these conclusions that mean something and that get created in the now. And I could have bought into all kinds of things like that. And it's a limitation. It's a huge limitation. It tells you who you get to be, who you can't be, what you can and cannot do, what is possible and what is not possible for you. And then also like all the, the freedoms in your life that you do get to enjoy or not. Like, oh, well, because I don't have this money, then I don't get to do this. Or because I'm not a rocket scientist, I'm not that smart. Or, you know, whatever it might be that are definitions of who you think you are that define and contain and limit your expression. So release all of that stuff about the identity. Release all of the stuff about what you think other people need or expect or I can't let them have that response, so I've got to protect them and say what they need me to, to, to hear and just release that. And it's so easy to do by connecting with the physical body because, again, you are um, accessing source through your physical body. You're accessing the now through your physical body, and it will bring you out of all of those mind projections because those four spaces are all projections of the mind that can create. It can create limitation. The other thing I want to say about this inner alignment, um, it will open you to compassion and receiving. And this is one of the things that I um, received from Matt Sanford, that the awareness that as we relax the body so that we can feel our body, we can feel the space around our body, it always opens us to greater compassion, especially as a physician or any practitioner assisting other people. It is the number one biggest requirement is that we have compassion. We can't assist anyone. I could fix your problem, I could sew your leg back on and get you to surgery. You know, we can do stuff to fix you and like maybe temporarily prevent death, delay death, um, but to really contribute to another person requires that we experience compassion. We must experience compassion in order to know what's called for, what's required, either from our child, from our lover, from our friend, from our patient, from anyone around us that we want to contribute to. Without compassion, um, where we're disconnected from ourselves, so we're actually disconnected from that person, without compassion, we can't be of true contribution in the world to ourselves, our own body, or to other people. And so this is like a requirement. And as I relax in my body, take three breaths, feel my body. Come into that space of inner alignment and we're just touching on the basic of it but start with the physical and kind of wipe the chalkboard of all of those four spaces around you if your energy is going outside of you wipe away the chalkboard blow away the chalk dust bring your energy back into your heart into your inner self as you embrace that you will always feel more love and compassion for yourself more love and compassion with others and more wisdom and guidance to what contributes the most to you. And it may not be the things that your mind tells you or the experts or the books tell you are required. Like, I should eat that, I should not eat this, I should take these supplements, I have this problem, I need these medications. Whatever all those conclusions are, they fall away to this deeper wisdom that knows a deeper truth. So some of those things may be aligned for you and some of them may be not, where you're like, huh, I'm going to actually eat these things and who knew that that would be a contribution to my body and bring me into greater health. I know years ago 
for me, that was a huge sort of discovery of how much my body loved fats. So like tons of olive oil and, and ghee, which is like the clarified butter and avocado and like um, coconut oil, like lots and lots of fats. And my body was just thriving. And at first my mind was like, oh, this is not going to be good because I had all these ideas about that. So when you come into this inner alignment, it will always be way more of a contribution to you than anything that you could ever learn in the history of your life, anything we've learned in the history of medicine. Um, that's how powerful this inner alignment and this inner wisdom is. The last thing I want to share about the, the magical power of this alignment is that there is a creative power that comes through you. As you're in alignment with it, it will serve you, it will bring you all kinds of, you know, gifts. Like people show up differently and they're loving and kind and generous. You're like, whoa. Um, and that's because this inner alignment creates a change in your electromagnetic field. Now, there's a lot we've learned about the electromagnetics of the body or the electromagnetics of the heart, for example. And we study with an EKG machine and you can see something happening electromagnetically. Um, you can see that on a printout and you can um, palpate that. You can actually detect that even further away out from the body, like eight to 10 feet out from the body. When we do an EKG, we're inches away from the heart and we can read that um, electromagnetic field, what's happening electronically in the heart. But your body also has a whole physical electromagnetic field and that's powerfully affected by your inner alignment. If you're aligned with, oh no, I can't do this because I, that's not, that's not who I am or, oh, other people will be mad. That's not allowed. Or, oh, I never let go of this energy in the past or whatever fears I have about the future. When I hold that alignment, it changes my electromagnetic field. So everyone's perception of me or what they're inspired to say, be, or do for me is going to be very different. So my experiences will be different. Like, no, I'm not going to give you that job or no, I'm not going to pay you that money or no, I am going to abuse you. You're worthless. It will be a reflection of what I've embraced in my alignment. This is the most powerful thing I wanted to share about your inner alignment is how it very powerfully creates everything you experience. When we come into the harmonic alignment with who we really are, it can create true miracles in your life, certainly in your physical body. And I see this all the time with people healing from autoimmune illness or chronic fibromyalgia, chronic pain, thyroid disease, all kinds of illnesses, um, inflammatory conditions of the bowel, all of these things can resolve. But it also creates amazing things in your outer life. So I'm so excited to share this with you, with this inspiration that came through and what we shared today in our group call. And I look forward to your comments and um, questions. I can be found at drkimd.com if you would like more in mind, body, medicine. You're welcome to share this video with those that you love. And I will see you soon.